Hey boys and girls, we're gonna do another science experiment. This one's gonna be a little bit different because um, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So um, you might notice in the in the um, in, during the experiment that I change clothes and my hair might grow or get cut. I don't know. So it's gonna uh, we're gonna talk about plants. We're gonna do a science experiment with some plants and see um, which plants will grow the biggest. Um, and keep track of them a little bit, okay? But first, let's refresh our brain. What do we know about plants? What do plants need um, to survive? All right, so good job answering those. You are, you guys are right. It needs sun and water and soil. Now we could start our plants um, just in a baggie, like on the window. So if you have some seeds at home, you could just put them in a paper towel, stick them in a baggie and put it on the window and they will start to grow. But eventually, your roots um, need something to hold on to for a couple reasons, right? The roots are going to help hold the uh, plant straight up and down and to collect those nutrients and food, um, nutrients and minerals in the soil. So we need that soil to help hold our, so the roots have something to hold the plant up and to give some nutrients and minerals. So we have four, I have four different kinds of seeds that we're going to see which ones will grow the biggest. Um, and it's fun how seeds look different. So here I've got carrots. And look at those seeds, tiny little pink things. I'm gonna roll away from me. And we've got spaghetti squash, and they kind of look like a pumpkin seed. Um, it's in the same family as a pumpkin. Uh, spaghetti squash, you can see in the picture, it's a very big oval um, vegetable, and then you kind of um, pull out the middle and you can eat it. And I have wheat. Um, like you would see growing in a field, wheat seeds. And then finally, sunflower seeds, um, kind of bigger also. So you can see we've got some that are really tiny and some that are bigger. So which ones are the smallest and which ones are the biggest? Okay. Now I want you to stop and, uh, well, you know, we'll plant them first. And then I want you to think about which one might grow while we're planting them, which one might grow the tallest and why do you think that, okay? Which one might grow the most? So um, I have my soil here and I wrote on it carrots, spaghetti squash, wheat, and sunflowers. Um, that way we can keep track of which one's which. Um, we're gonna put them in the soil. So let's do, let's say five seeds in each one, just in case, you know, sometimes you get a seed that just doesn't grow. So here goes carrots into our soil and we'll kind of Push them down a little bit and plant those guys under. And let me take those guys down a little bit more. I need um need like a little tool, don't I? A gardening tool. Okay, I got spaghetti squash next. And I'll make a hole for the spaghetti squash first. And in goes five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. These ones I think I can. Since they're bigger, we can push them down a little bit, huh? Jeffrey loves spaghetti squash. Has anybody ever had spaghetti squash? It's a good veggie. Okay. Let me get some extra soil and cover those up a little bit later. And now I've got wheat. Let's see, get a hole for my wheat. And here's the wheat seeds. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay, in goes the wheat seeds. Spread them out a little bit. Oh, that little guy got away. Let's stick another gun in there. And sunflowers. Let's make a hole for the sunflowers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, in they go. Whoops, nope, I dropped one. Stick those guys down in there and cover them up. All right, so we are going to um, let these guys go for about a week and we'll check back with you and I will make sure that I put them in a sunny place and I'll make sure that I water them. Um, so the same every day. I have a little spritzer. I think I'll give them four spritzes. Hey boys and girls, here for a little checkup. Um, our plants are growing. It's been about two weeks, so 14 days. Um, and I will mark down what we got here. Here's carrots. Um, here is the spaghetti squash, the wheat, 
And here's the sunflowers. Um, and you can kind of see already which one is the tallest, which one's growing the most. But you know, scientists, they don't just go off of what they see. They also use um, tools to keep data. So I have a, t um, a ruler here. So let's measure everything and we'll write it down and we'll check back on here on our plants shortly and see um, which one has grown. So first of all, just from looking at it, can you take up, make a hypothesis of which one is the tallest? Okay, so let's take a minute and measure. There's the carrots, of course, nothing, right? Let's come over here to the spaghetti squash. So the spaghetti squash, let me get behind it. There we go. That way maybe we can see it a little bit better. Oops, sorry guys. Um, it's just above one inch. So there you can see the one behind it. So it's just a little bit more than one inch. All right, so if you know that that is one inch, what do you think that wheat is? Let's take a look here. I'm gonna measure the biggest one. Um, just to be fair, so the wheat is a little bit above three inches, not quite to three and a half, okay? And then finally, we have the sunflower. You wanna take a guess at how tall the sunflower is so far? You can see a couple little guys still popping up. We'll go with the biggest one. Oops, and I'll go right behind it. The sunflower is just about one inch as well. Okay, so pretty cool, we'll write it down, start a little chart, and we'll check back in on our flowers in another couple hey days. Hey guys, we're here for our third checkup um, on our plants. Let's look at our um, data to remind what we know already. So our carrots had have grown zero inches so far. We measured them, well, we planted them day zero, and then on day 14, we checked back on them. Today is day 18. Spaghetti squash had grown a half of an inch, our wheat had grown one inch, and our sunflower had grown zero inches. Remember, it's just poking through. So today, here we are, day 18. You can see there's the carrots, there's our spaghetti squash, there's the wheat, and here's the sunflowers. What do you think our numbers are gonna be this time? How tall do you think the sunflower is now. All right, so carrots, we still have nothing happening there. So still zero for carrots. Let's look at the spaghetti squash. Take my ruler, stick it behind it. So you guys can see it is kind of in the middle of one and two. It's just above one and a half inches. So we will say, whoops. Oh, sorry guys. Camera's going everywhere. We will say one and a half inches for the spaghetti squash. Carrots still at zero inches. All right, let's go check out our wheat. So last time I did the tallest one, so I'm gonna stick with our tallest guy. Here's our wheat. Holy macaroni, you can see it is up past the three inches, almost to the four inches. So I'm gonna say it's just about four inches. Wheat went up from one to four inches. And finally, our sunflower. Put my ruler behind it and stand him up straight. He's just above one inch. So we'll put sunflower one inch. Okay, remember that IN means inch. So, which one has grown the most so far? Wheat grew from one inch to four inches. How many inches did it grow in those four days? Okay, we're gonna check back on it one more time. Day 21, we'll check back and see our final results. All right guys, time for the day 21 check-in on our plants. Um, remember that carrots um, a couple days ago were at zero inches, spaghetti squash was at one and a half inches, wheat was at four inches, and sunflowers were at one inch. So here we are um, going to check up which one do you think has grown the most, and which one do you think is the tallest? 
All right, let's check. So here are our carrots, and the carrot is just starting to come through. I see a little poke of it coming through, but still no height, so we still have zero inches for our carrots. All right, here is our spaghetti squash, and if I put my ruler behind it up there, it's almost, that leaf is almost two, two and a half. This leaf in the front is probably bigger than two and a half. So we will put, it went from one and a half inches to two and a half inches. Uh -huh. So how much did that one grow? Okay, and then we come over here to our wheat. And our wheat, whoops. Our wheat is above the four, almost to four and a half. So about four, I'm gonna say about four and a half inches. Okay, think about how much that one grew from four to four and a half. And finally, our sunflower, which I have to be honest with you guys, he is not looking so good, but there is a new little sunflower back there and another one back there that has just started and maybe one back there that's poking through. But our, our sunflower, he is still at just about one inch. Um, so think about why he might not be growing because he didn't change at all. He was at one inch uh, a couple days ago and he's still at one inch. What could cause him to maybe not be growing? Um, I don't know, his leaves don't, leaves don't look so good. Huh. So which one is the tallest? Here's our chart. Which one is the tallest? Um, and why do you think maybe that uh, he's the tallest? Could a sunflower, think about it in real life, are sunflowers tall? Could the sunflower catch up in real life? Hmm, something to think about. One more question for you. This little carrot down there, he's just starting to grow. So what, and remember, if you remember Mrs. Buxton, I think I put four or five um, seeds in there. Let's look over here. This one's got one, two, three, four guys growing. Our wheat has one, two, three of them growing. Sunflower, I see one, two, three, four maybe popping up. But our carrot, I just see one little guy there. So what could cause, what could have caused our carrot to not grow um, as much as the other ones? All right, guys, thanks for popping in today. I hope you enjoyed tracking our plants and, um, and maybe you can start some of your own.